Digital products are an amazing way to make money online, and that's because you can make money without any upfront cost. It's almost pure profit and super high margins. You don't have to store any inventory, and the customers get delivered the digital product instantly and they don't have to wait. So here are some digital product ideas. We're gonna go through 12 of them today that you can potentially implement into your business and channel right now. Number one ebooks. You can sell them on Amazon Kindle or Gumroad, for example. Or you can use your own payment processor like Digistore24, which is what I use. Adam Waitham put together an ebook and he made over $2.5 million according to this article that we found online. He already knew about the subject and he did this as well. But he didn't just make a low-cost ebook and make a couple dollars per sale. Because let's do the math here. We would need 11,111 sales at a $9 price point to make $100,000. But instead, Adam included the package of his book along with some screen recordings as well. And that showed what he was teaching and he charged $179 per sale. Well then now he only needed 558 sales to make $100,000. Do you see the difference here? He upselled and made it like that. This brings me to number two, courses. A course is just a collection of videos and we here at Tube Mastery have made over $5 million in sales from courses. And we talk about a subject we already know about which is growing on YouTube channels and monetizing it and how you can make money online through YouTube. And that's Tube Mastery and Monetization which you can check out in the description. That course sells for $1,000 and if you do the math, to make $1 million you only need to sell it 1,000 times. And if you produce high quality YouTube videos about your subject, then this isn't as hard as you think it is. Here's what we use to sell the course. Kajabi for email marketing and delivering the course, ClickFunnels for the sales page, and Digistore24 for payment processing. There are low cost options like Teachable and Gumroad that you can use as well and then you can reinvest to do something similar to what we do which is where we get more control over the courses and the money number three PDF downloads these can be stuff like checklists daily planners card templates and resume templates on Etsy if you search up you can see loads of people are selling stuff like this and people are selling them for a decent amount as well number four membership sites now membership sites are a bit different to online courses because you're going to be charging a recurring monthly fee for these memberships and then you'll release new content every single month for this this could literally just be a live Q&A in the Facebook group and then you can record the calls and then put them in the members area in Kajabi for example. The benefits of doing something like this is monthly recurring revenue. If you can get a thousand people paying you $50 per month that's $50,000 in monthly recurring revenue not including churn though obviously. Number five software. Creating software can be time consuming and very expensive but it is worth it in the long run if it's the right thing because some of these businesses can sell for multiple six figures maybe even seven or eight figures it depends. But we did some research and we checked that some software out there allow you to white it and sell it as well. So if you resell it yourself, you can split the revenue with the original software provider. You can hire software developers from places like Upwork, but you're gonna need to be solving a problem with the software. And in order for you to do that, you're gonna have to probably pay about six figures in costing as well for the developer and also producing the actual software itself. To create the software, you're probably gonna have to pay over six figures anyway. So that's why it's important to do your research before getting into it. Number six, stock footage and pictures. If you have a good phone or camera, then this one's for you. You can sell on places such as Pond5, Shutterstock and Adobe Stock. Also something to consider is create unique content because there's probably a lot of stuff out there to do with certain things. One idea could be to get a drone to get unique shots that people usually can't get and then posting them on the websites and seeing if people buy it. Say if you create a really unique photo and 100 people wanna pay $100 each for it, you do the math, you can work out that's worth it in the long run. Number seven, music. This is really good if you know how to make music yourself or you're experienced in this area, but you can pay people on Upwork or Fiverr to create music for you and publish it online, potentially to a YouTube channel even, or just on Spotify. Obviously, if you're posting on YouTube, then you want to keep it keyword optimized. We go over some of this and we'll leave a link in the description to a video about that. You can provide them for free on your YouTube channel and then give people an option to pay for the rights to use it commercially. You can also sell music on places like Bandcamp and SoundCloud. Number eight, audiobooks. Now, if you want to create an ebook, then you can translate that to an audiobook, which is basically an audio speaking version of it. And a lot of people are interested in audiobooks nowadays. You can record it yourself or you can pay someone on Upwork or Fiverr to do it for you. And you can even sell it on Amazon as well because people are interested in audio versions of books. Number nine, graphics. These could be things like social media graphics, digital drawings, and logo graphics. If you go to gumroad.com and go to the Discover tab, you'll see a ton of people selling this type of thing. And then once you start making money selling these sorts of things, you can even make a course about how you did it in the first place. Just an example of how you can make more money 
by upselling as well. Number 10, website themes. You can use tools like Elementor for WordPress to create themes and you can sell it on platforms like ThemeForest or Envato Elements. And a lot of people are interested in this, especially if they're really nice themes as well for websites. Number 11, templates. Speaking of Envato Elements that we just mentioned before, you can actually sell templates on here for different things. You can do video templates, presentations, and graphics as well. So many people are interested in templates that we can reuse for videos, even images and stuff like that. Number 12, writing packs. Typeshare is an example of a company that does this for tweet templates, blog post templates, and essay templates. You can sell these on your own website or places like gumroad.com and it's literally just plain text. So those are all the 12 ideas that we have for digital products and I hope that helps, but it all comes down to the value you're providing to the end consumer. If you have any knowledge or even just 1% more knowledge than most people, then I recommend you to do something like this and use one of these ideas to your advantage. Competition doesn't really matter because people want to learn from other people. So if they like you and they like what you're doing for the free content, they're most likely going to purchase something like a digital product from you. I have a program called Quantum Courses, which you can use to learn exactly how you can make courses online, which we'll leave down in the description. We have people making tens of thousands every single month just by getting a couple thousand views on YouTube on their channels. And this is all done through selling digital products like a course. So if you want to check out Quantum Courses, check out down below. Now check out this video over here if you want to learn how to make money via courses the right way. And while I can't guarantee you'll definitely make millions of dollars online by selling courses as well, we're going to give you the best advice right now to be able to teach you that. So check out the video right here.